Well, like I said, for me, it's a, the root center is simply a matter of if it's feasible to put it back together, but, but I don't want to continue using it. Uh, the county's major investments in our community have been pushing a prison down our throat, something I consider a negative thing to our community. And without discussing it with the town, they decided to build a 300-bed jail. By the way, Carson City has a 200-bed jail. Obviously, it, it's not for just serving the needs of this community, but some other plan. And in my mind, we need something to kind of counter those negative things. And like I said, this town needs a, a modern government center that reflects that when people look at it, that we look successful here. And fixing the root center, <coughs> going on as business as usual, is not going to affect that. The, what people are going to see when they come to town is an old rundown building representing the town and a bunch of places to lock prisoners up. And that's not what I moved here for. I don't think anybody moved here for. <coughs> We've been ignored by the county. Go up to Beatty and look at their nice community center. If some of you people here haven't seen it, you should go take a look. And the answer would be, oh, well, the town of Beatty did it. Where did they get the money? It all comes from the county. We need to be treated more fairly. Speaking as that area's representative, I can tell you that, uh, that not very much of that money came from Nye County. We did contribute somewhat to that building, but what you're forgetting, Mr. Calkin, is that the Beatty Bullfrog Mine was right outside of the town of Beatty. They paid a tremendous amount in property taxes and in net proceeds taxes. My hat is absolutely off to the, the members of that town board for having the foresight to say save that money over the years and budget it and with a sense of vision uh, they planned that community center and they built that themselves. I'd like to point out um, you want to know how how the county can help you. I would say that the, the town of Pahrump, um right now in your capital projects fund you have 1.3 million dollars in your special capital projects fund, you have $170,000. Uh, that is certainly some pretty significant seed money for you to move ahead and make some plans for either the renovation of your current community center or the, for the construction of a new one. We would like nothing better if you constructed a new one to do it right here at the Calvada Eye so that all of government functions are together. I think what we're all hoping for is that tonight's meeting would uh, be a point of the beginning for even deeper discussions between the town board and the county commission. And uh, I would hope that this type of a discussion on this particular subject would uh, continue to move forward after we leave this meeting this evening. Yes, Mr. Moderator, I'd like to add, too, that with the large population of people that we have in Pahrump, which is a large part of Nye County, What's good for Pahrump is good for Nye County. Mm -hmm. And so I, I know the commissioners are willing to work with us to make these things happen. I'm sure they are. 